two hands. You love Spider-Man? Yeah. How are you? Let's go. What is going on everyone? Mr. Mom Collectibles, I'm back with a little showcasing. We're gonna be taking a look at the Spider-Man symbiote, the black version suit from the Insomniac video game. And we're gonna be, you know, you guys probably seen reviews already about this. So I just wanna do a quick little showcase, as I said, just going over the accessories. Um, the figure itself, I felt like it was pretty basic. You know, you got the, the hands, you got similar things if you had the Advanced Suit 2.0, the web wings, the various hands. You, you had a couple different things like this symbiote gesture here that you can actually attach to one of his arms. Like it was uh, a piece of him like extending out, which you'll see you got that later. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of a light box uh, demonstration of everything. And then we're gonna take this thing outside and do a showcasing outdoors as I've been doing with many of my videos and you want to make sure not to obviously break these webs which i did do on my advanced suit 2.0 by accident but like i said this thing is pretty it's pretty amazing i've been waiting to get this in and this is the exclusive that i got from sideshow and i have to admit i did order one um from a local comic book store and not thinking i needed the exclusive to be honest i passed on it uh because i got a better deal elsewhere then when I got the Advanced Suit 2.0, I was like, I have to get this exclusive. So I ended up being able to grab it from Sideshow, still in stock. And so here we are. I might actually be picking up another figure because I absolutely love this so much. And there's just so many different uh, display styles for this um, with the, you know, the extra head sculpt or even these, um, the, the tentacle arms. The possibilities of posing are quite endless with this figure. Like you said, all this stuff here, I'm going to display outside where there's a little more freedom to put this stuff together. But, uh, it, you know, the build quality on this is really great. Just like the 2.0 advanced suit, except it has the symbiote attached to it, which is really nice touch. And so it's just something that gives you a lot of possibilities to pose with. And the figure itself is really, I love the little blue tint on the eyes, by the way, but the suit, it's pretty basic. It's just a black suit, Spider-Man. Um, yeah, I think it's really well done. I love the, f a lot of people comment on the actual texture of the suit. I thought at first it felt like the Venom suit um, from the Venom movie, but it definitely doesn't have, a, it has a different feel to it. The look of it's amazing. It's taken after the Insomniac version of the black suit symbiote um, versus the comic book style. I would still love to one day get a comic book version, not the Hono version by any stretch of the imagination. Those, uh, those little 
plugs for the back. I think I got them in the right spot. I didn't look at the instructions as I never do. Uh, that covers up if you don't want to put those ratcheted arms in there. And the arm, the hands themselves. Now, one of the gripes I have that you'll see and through numerous times on the video is the wrist peg situation. I feel like the suit, um, it takes away from it when you go to stretch, at least for mine, when I do any type of posing, the sleeves ride up on the figure, really exposing the ball joints. I, normally, it's not a big deal for me, but... I don't know why it just aggravated the shit out of me in this fit with this figure. No idea why. The details on the suit are really phenomenal, really kind of capturing, uh, you know, the essence of the character. And when I'm just doing a little pose, and like every other Spider-Man figure, it does have that situation where there's going to be bunching. There is going to be bunching on the suit. And despite what other you know people might tell you that you know you can pose these figures and not have a problem, there's going to be some jackasses out there that are going to say stuff. <laughs> But I would just be cautionary, especially with this suit. Um, I did put this in some pretty good posing outside, but I was pretty quick to get the suit back into condition just because I didn't want there to be any damages. Uh, you know, mommy and daddy are not buying me these figures, so I do not want to, you know, damage these in any sense, doing anything too outlandish posing wise. But you'll see that. But head sculpt looks awesome. It's, it's basic, you know, but there is complexity within that. It's not just black. There's detailing in there. When you really got to pull close in and you really get to look at the details of the sculpt and the suit, it's not just a black suit that you would think of. And this is just basically, you know, comparing it to the Advanced Suit 2.0, which is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man figures um, that I have in my collection. I do also have the 1.0, which is actually my first Spider-Man hot toy I ever bought. And we're just doing a comparison here with the head sculpt. There's been other channels that have demonstrated that you are able to remove the sculpt from this symbiote and put other things in there, uh, other head sculpts and things like that. I'm not gonna mess with that. It's been done already. I also don't wanna damage anything at this moment, but uh, everything looks pretty well identical. Uh, I don't really see any major differences in there. And this is me playing around the accessories. This is the Advanced U 2.0 with the Venom arm kind of on his you know, on his right arm and then the sculpt from the uh the special exclusive just kind of showing it kind of telling a story of it kind of taking over uh peter in the suit which looks really cool like i said so many different options to pose this figure up and uh i really like this a lot and and like i said it's just doing a side-by-side -side comparison now here is the one that i really wanted to look at which was venom and believe it or not it's hard to pick it up on camera but they're not exactly the same exact color of black uh, Peter, uh, the Spider-Man is definitely a little more black. Venom's like a little shade off of like black with a little bit of blue in there, believe it or not. So it's not as like crisp and black as the, the symbiote, uh, Spider-Man, but they still pair really well together. Granted, I don't recall them actually fighting each other because like I said, the suit shows one or the other, but they're cool to have, you know, just to kind of give that idea and that pairing. I'm really looking forward to that, uh, Insomniac, uh, Venom figure. I really can't wait for that one. That's definitely becoming one of my more eagerly, eagerly anticipated hot toys, without a doubt. And so uh, that one I'm really looking forward to. But I just want to give a, also scaling and just give you an idea of what this thing looks like. And then finally, I'm going to compare it to some maybe a Marvel Legends that I have. I am a black suit collector, so this is not the only one I have in my collection. And that is also the cell shaded blue from the animated cartoon as well. So I have others that I have not pulled out of my collection, but I just want to give you an idea of some of the figures that I do have. Like I said, I am a black suit collector. I do love that suit so much. And there's a reason why I'm also taking a little extended look at that Batman 2.0 diorama base. And if you're someone out there that passed on that Batman, ooh, you're gonna regret some of the footage that you might see outside when we take this baby out for some outdoor uh, some outdoor shots. And so the following showcase is really just this figure and I'm incorporating the gargoyle display base with it.
So as you can see, uh, the last portion of this is just really going to be uh, outdoors. So I actually filmed this part first and did the light box stuff uh, later. So I want to make sure I got the right lighting. And so the lighting is, like I said, you could see there that just light hits it. The texture, as I'm saying, it's just, it's not, um, it's not just a plat, you know, a black suit. Uh, there's a lot of complexity going on. And I think Hot Toys did a really great job capturing that. Cause remember this is Insomniac's design, you know, that Hot Toys is mimicking in six scale form. And so they did a great job of capturing that. And like I said, the pairing of this diorama from the Batman 2.0 just really elevates the figure just so much more versus the generic, you know, base that comes with it that I'd even bother showing. But it just it just lends itself to this this setup here with the gargoyle and everything like that. And I've said it time and time again, uh, I might have to go out and chase another one of these diorama bases because I like it so much with Batman, but it also fits so well with, you know, Spider-Man, Daredevil, other Batman figures. Uh, the, the list goes on and on of characters that could just be really um, befitting for this type of setup. But the the figure itself, you know, is it the best Spider-Man figure to date? It's for me, it's in the top. It's in the top five. You know, I would put this there with the, the final swing red and blue, uh, the advanced suit 2.0. Those are probably my top three in terms of overall figure, you know, made so far to date from Hot Toys. Um, what's number one? I mean, like I said, those between those three figures, it's really a toss up. I know a lot of people might go with the red and blue, but I mean, this black one is it's damn impressive. And so this is me just starting to get you know, starting to get relaxed into the posing of the figure, you know, foot up on the step with his hand gripping. I was trying to make it look really natural with the elements of the of the base to try to make it look like, you know, he's often looking off or something like that. And so, like I said, it really works really well, like I said, with one foot up. And you start seeing some of the creasing, as I said, in the suit. It's going to crease, um, you, you know, the posability of it, it. It it can you can push it. You, you can push the suit, definitely. But you're going to get crimping. Like I said, there is the creasing in the suit there. Um, in the arms and stuff. So the more dramatic he gets, you see just bunching up there. It's inevitable with every Spider-Man figure. I'm not saying you can't do it, but it's not something that I would probably recommend personally doing that often. And then you see the wrist peg exposure. Um, as I said, I, I know it sounds so silly. It might be something that happens more times than none, but I don't know why it was driving me crazy. And you know what the thing about it is? I kind of almost wish they came up with a way um, to make it seamless because the symbiote was a seamless suit as with, you know, obviously every Spider-Man, even though technically if you want to, you know, he was wearing gloves and one, you know, whatever it is in some, you know, iterations, but the symbiote was basically just a, a solid black suit that was seamless all over him. And so I think that just bothers me that it kind of breaks up the idea that it is, it almost reminds me that it's like a cloth suit on top of him versus it being a sim, a, a seamless, you know, fluid like piece so this is also me kind of branching out so this is a really awesome pose that i tried to do. this is me incorporating the the tentacle arms and then i used one to wrap it around the gargoyle and have his hand hold on to the, the you know the, the ear of the gargoyle there and his foot pose this is just, just a badass pose i just love this pose a lot i kept the figure in this pose for a little while just to you know take some photos and things like that but it just is another like i said i'm trying to when there's reviews out there for figures that have already been done uh, i try to uh think of something that hasn't been done before that maybe i can give collectors display options so if you're someone out there that has the batman 2.0 and you have this gargoyle display you you know and you might have this spider-man figure it might lend to different posing options even if it's not permanent you want to rotate stuff out for photography whatever have you um but so i just try to give collectors options versus just doing a straightforward review and so like i said if you want to watch an unboxing there's many other channels that have already you know beat me to it i like i said i don't try to do day one stuff um, a figure like this, I got it when I got it in, I was working, I know I have a lot of stuff coming in anyway. So, but I knew there was a couple of ways that I wanted to pose this, especially if I got the Batman first, if I didn't get the Batman first, it would have changed the complexity of this review. But the fact that I have the Batman really kind of showed, um, the different posing options that this figure can do. If you want to incorporate both of them together, 
but it's just an amazing piece and that's why I am thinking about possibly getting another one just so that I can pose them up differently and, and tell a story. Like I said, the black suit, it means a lot to me um, growing up as a kid, watching the animated show, things like that. And so this suit really, you know, lends a lot. And so therefore, I, I want to tell a story with it using the Advanced Suit 2.0 where he just starts to get the symbiote on his arm and then, you know, play around with the, you know, the extra head sculpt here and just... Like I said, tell a story of the transformation, uh, if that makes any sense. And this just goes back to the additional aspects of the story. Now, this is obviously the black suit. And, you know, just a quick pose, just trying to convey the symbiote, you know, maybe taking over or maybe him trying to get rid of it, you know, things like that. It's just, like I said, adding another layer of posing that you can do with this figure, this base, everything like that. Uh, it's just, like I said, it's just, I had a lot of fun with this piece. I'm going to continue to pose it up, take photos, but that symbiotic extension is really cool. Like I like that a lot. And so that's the kind of stuff I kind of wish we got more from hot toys. And I know there's guys out there that are making their own with like hot glue and wire, which is very impressive. Um, I may or may not go down that route. We'll see what happens, but, uh, you know, and there's my little helper, uh, in the background, Gwen, who, was very uh, eager to be outside with daddy doing this review. She was very jealous. And so, uh, yeah, she she's waiting for the cue to uh, remove the figure. And there she is taking the figure. And she she loves Spider-Man. Spider-Man's her favorite, of course. And so uh, giving it a little kiss, a hug. But, uh, you know, that that's what collecting is all about. This moment here was not scripted. She just was outside and she loves Spider-Man. And so this is what collecting for me is all about, is being able to share these moments, a uh, moment in time. That's what this is, this review. That's why I left this footage in there. This is just a moment in time, something that when she's older, she can look back on and see. Sharing this time with me is just precious because um, I won't get this time back. And so to have this recorded is just something that it just means the absolute world to me. So if you're, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're a collector out there sharing these experiences with your children, I mean, like I said, these are priceless moments that we just that we just don't get back. And so to have the opportunity to uh, have these recorded as a historical document in time is precious to me. And especially being able to watch these reviews with her when she's older, hopefully not to embarrass her. But I can't promise anything. So Gwen, when you see this years from now, I do love you. And I hope to not embarrass you with my toys. But uh, I think you'll understand and give daddy a pass. But getting back to it, I just want to wrap up the video here. Uh, you know, I rambled on enough, but I love this figure. I absolutely do. Um, it, it encapsulate, you know, it, it's just something that, you know, it brings me back to my childhood just with this suit. And it's such a fun figure to pose, pose it up with other figures. And like I said, you can't overlook this diorama. I mean, it's a special piece and it just works so damn well. You know, I almost wonder if, you know, we could have got the same exact diorama with this figure. I don't think anyone would have complained about it just because it's so awesome. And it just gives you such a, uh, a, you know, a different way to pose. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy this and other content. I'll definitely have more. Got a lot of ideas, a lot of idea videos in the pipeline. But let me know your thoughts below if this is something that you grabbed and, uh, you know, if you like this figure or not, or if you passed. And like I said, that diorama base, it might be something worth checking out, uh, you know, if someone's parting it out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But until then, this is Mr. Mom Collectibles, as always, saying take care. Thank you for the support. And I will see you guys in the next video.